Ali here and today I'm taking a look at the Mini Freak from Arturia. The Mini Freak is a polyphonic synth with two digital oscillators, an analogue filter, um, a bunch of different effects and loads of other fun stuff. And I'm not really going to do a deep dive into how it all works as there's so many great videos out there already. I'm going to be more focusing on just exploring some sounds and making some music. If that sounds fun then please stick around. Also please do subscribe if you're new here. My goal a long time ago was to reach 10,000 subs and I'm so close. <laughs> so if you could help me out I would really appreciate that. This opening sound is a preset I made called Explorer and it's running a sequence that I programmed. So let's try it without the without the sequencer. Gonna increase the release. Some glide maybe? Check out some more sounds. The sound is called Shifter. I can't remember if it's one of mine or not, but the other day I literally sat for hours and composed that little piece. And that just, that's what can happen when you find a sound that you're really into. The right sound can inspire you to, to write music. And I was def I was particularly um, enjoying the chord progression here. The yeah, really lovely sound. So I like this patch for a few reasons. Firstly, the sort of core bass sound. Quite fat and sort of lo-fi sounding. And I'm using the cycling envelope here to bring in quite a few different elements. Firstly, um, it's got a really slow attack and it's fading in the volume of oscillator 2, which is in chord mode. Um, it's also fading in the chorus from completely dry to completely wet and it's modulating the 
inversion of the chord so we get this really cool sort of ascending effect. And then lastly I've got the aftertouch going to the filter cutoff. So this patch really demonstrates some of the performance aspects of the Mini Freak. I'm able to create these cool rhythms by having synced LFOs, which I'm a big fan of. And also the macro controls allow me to bring in different aspects. And opening up the release totally changes the character of the sound. Also bringing up the delay feedback.
crazy bit crush noise. This one's all about the delay. So one of the big advantages to having two separate oscillators is that you can fade one of them out to totally change the sound. We also have a third LFO down here which is dedicated to vibrato which I'm very happy about because I do tend to want to have vibrato on every single patch. <laughs>
this patch, I'm using the macro control to fade out one oscillator and fade in the other oscillator and this kind of makes this one preset feel like two presets. Because both of the oscillators are so different. And it also means that you can mix them both together. But I think I like this one by itself the most. It's just kind of weird and dark sounding. And I like weird and dark. arpeggiators. <laughs> this is a very simple sound but there's so many arpeggio options that you can come out with these really creative chord progressions. If you've enjoyed my exploration of the mini freak then please leave a like and a comment. Um, I feel like I'll probably do more videos because there's a lot I haven't touched on. This was just uh, initial sort of the sounds I've created. And if you do like those sounds, then I have made a preset pack with about 50 sounds. I'll leave a link to that down below. Or alternatively, you could get it through my Patreon. And if you're thinking of picking up a mini freak and you use one of the affiliate links, then I get a little cut of the sale as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.